What is the meaning of this? Why Zestfrost attacking the mines? Are they gonna melt down their own forges next? Incomprehensible. The miners have all been slain. How? How did it come to this? Lord Dragan, you know something of this, do you not? You've nothing left to hide. Talk. I underestimated him. I never thought he would go this far. Dragan! No! There are survivors. How dare you! Ugh. Stay with me, Dragan. Be strong. Forgive me. Had I but spoken the truth, it would not have come to this. I thought, at last, I could step out of their shadow. That I had the upper hand. Father. Father. Forgive me. Trigan. No! What in the world is happening? We can do not to set this right, my lord. Let us inform the king at once. Hail! Is Prince Roland among you? I have a message. Speak it now. Whitehome Castle is under attack, your highness. Tis the Esfrosty army. What in the... Damn it all! The hell is going on? Control yourself. At any rate, we must confirm exactly what has happened. Let us return to the kingdom. Frederica, my heart aches for you, but... We've no time. I know. I am with you. Would this did not fall to you, but alas. See to it the dragon receives a proper burial. Yes, my lord. Take care. The army has the crown city surrounded. How did they do this? Ah, a survivor. Kill him. There you are, fair Dragan. What a pity that your dreams of being Prime Minister shall be nothing more than that. Tell me, does it pain you? <laughs> Lord Thallus, a word. The entire regiment of assassins have fallen as well. This bodes ill. It matters not, so long as the miners have been slaughtered. Saves us the trouble of having to silence them. But, my lord... Enough. Dispose of our dead and be done with it. My brother will wish to hear that we did. Aye, my lord. Shall we bury Lord Dragan as well? No. Leave him to rot. Or fill the belly of some mangy cur. Forgot about him. Alrighty then. As they say, stuff is going down. That night, Esfrost invades Glenbrook without warning. The attack is all the more shocking, coming on the eve of the two nations' grand new mining venture. The duchy easily rushes into the Crown City, taking advantage of Glenbrook's unprepared defenses. Caught unawares by the sudden assault, Glenbrook's scattered forces can do nothing to fend off the invaders. 
Seranoa and his retinue rush from the mines to King Regna's aid, slipping past the siege into Whiteholm Castle via the secret passage known only to Prince Roland. Chapter 5. Chapter V. March against us. This is a flagrant breach of the treaty. Levy a complaint against Archduke Gustadolf immediately. I fear we're past the time for formal complaints, Your Highness. We can hold them no longer. We must inform His Majesty at once. Of course. My father and Cordelia must be protected at all costs. Levy a complaint. Guys are so silly. Esfrost invaded the Crown City by night! Preposterous! Gustadolf, what is that bastard scheming? Lord Simon. I bring word from King Regna. He says, should the crown fall, Glenbrook is in your hands. Your Majesty. Fetch my armor! I march to the crown's aid! Please, my lord, at least wait for Lord Serano and his retinue to return. Out of my way! I pledge my loyalty to his Majesty, and it's a vow I intend to... No! Oh. Your heart, my lord! Summon a healer, quickly! Damn it! Death cannot take me yet! Serenoa, Benedict! Pops is gonna die. Calling it now. Gonna happen. All right, character stories are now available on the world map. View them to rally new allies to your cause or learn more about those who have already joined you. Characters rallied to your cause are influenced by Serenoa's conviction. The strength of your bond with an ally depends on the number of times that character has been deployed in battle. Some character stories may not be available right away depending on your progress in the main story. character stories. Oh, unless I press this. Uh, a boy in strange garb comes to speak with Saranoa, claiming to be the grandson of the Archmage Grandante. <laughs> okay. Grandante. Halt! This is the encampment of House Wolfort. Splendid! For it's Lord Wolfort himself that I came to see. Lead me to him, my good man. <laughs> Big words from a shady-looking fellow in that ridiculous garb. Be gone at once. Ridiculous? Why, I'll have you know that these robes are a treasured relic of... Did I ask about your robes? I said... Be gone. Wait, I say! Who oh, there? Lord Wolfhart! Can you hear me? What's all the commotion here? This strange lad demands an audience with you, Lord Saranoa, and stubbornly refuses to leave. The name's Nard. Grandson and last disciple of the Archmage Grandante, here to offer my services. The Archmage Grandante. 
Forgive me, but in all my years of studying the arcane arts, I've never once heard that name. You haven't? Oh, I see. I suppose you won't have. Ah, oh, I'm sorry if I offended you. You needn't apologize, miss. Let's start over, shall we? Let me show you just what the final disciple of the Archmage Grandate can do. Incredible. Well, what do you think? I've never seen anything quite like it. Were you born with magic like this? Or perhaps... My illustrious grandfather, the Archmage Grandate, that is, taught me all I know. Please, let me join your army. I'm most certain my sorcery could avail you to no end. Lord Saranoa, this boy possesses remarkable talent. I must admit, he would make a formidable addition to our forces. Thank you, Jila. Narv, I welcome you to House Wolfort. Thank you, my lord. My magic will change the world. Just do wait and see. Okay. Grandante's in the game? Narv is in the game? My goodness. First Tal Mage and Master of the Elements cast spells of every element. Change enemies' orientation with wind magic. Ooh. Alright, okay. Uh, roster's getting a little big now. Uh, there we go. Uh, when type damage to all enemies within range, change the direction they face, grants HP to all allies within range. Holy cow. Ice Breath had seven Spark, Pierce Defenses, and Scorch. Wow. So I definitely do like mages in this game. Guarantees first action at the start of battle. Interesting. Um, thing is, is mages definitely do have their downsides of... Once they do, I think it's two or three actions, you kind of have to wait for them to recharge of a sort. But they're really strong for those first two or three actions. Thing is, who would I swap out? Well, Eridor would be one of the, the earlier ones. I don't think I have much of a need for someone like him. Uh, on the other end of it, Benedict could be less useful. He doesn't really do much damage. Um... Buffs are great and all, but do I need them? Hmm. Definitely keeping the archer. Um, I guess it depends on what our composition is going to look like. Can I, uh... I don't think I can rearrange the party here, but... Oh, this is uh, sorted by level. But I, I will probably use Narv. Sounds like a worthwhile addition. Double check that there's nothing else. I forgot what's going on over here. The 
Crown City is under attack? By whom? Estrost, it appears. They say the Archduke himself leads the charge. Gustadolf, then this will be no mere skirmish. What shall we do, my Protecting the royal family is House Warfort's duty. Let us bide our time and see how they fare. You would not make for the capital, my lord? Our kingdom's very fate hangs in the balance. Which is all the more reason why we must not act rashly. Estros is too strong a foe for House Teleon to face on our own. For now, tighten our defenses and bring thee what information you can. Yes, my lord. Tell you or be plotting. Alright, make sure that did not trigger anything else. Don't know if that's ever something I need to worry about, but you never know. beneath the castle. Who'd have thought? None but the royal family knew of this secret. They were built as a last resort, should the worst come to pass. Doesn't appear anyone else has been down here before us. Father must still be within the castle. Along with a host of enemy soldiers, they appear to have breached the gates. It truly is Esfrost. But I do not understand why. We will seek understanding later. For now, we must protect His Majesty and the Royal Family. Aye. We'll smuggle them to safety one way or another. We must take care. The castle has fallen into our enemy's hands. All not in unison. I mustn't charge carelessly into the enemy's blade. Time to find out what happened. Frosty armor, what could possibly drive them to invade us? The sparkly. Oh, hey, Kafka. Didn't even see the Kafka. That was another sparkly. Nearly all the soldiers have perished. What could S. Frost possibly want with our kingdom? Nearly? Which ones have survived? We're too late. At least the soldiers left Gotham alive. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, the only bodies here belong to the Royal Guard. The nobles themselves must have fled. Makes me sick thinking such cowards serve our king. Uh, for the moment, we all share a common goal, survival. We can have our revenge if we survive. Truer words were never spoken. Lead the way, lad. We have a king and country to save. We'll save the king, yes, but the kingdom will be another matter. We cannot defeat Esfrost alone. Aye, right ye are. Got caught up in the moment there. We shall be in. Hold fast, brave soldier. Pray, tell us what happened here. Gustadolf, he stormed the castle. Oh, this can't be. What would drive him to do such a thing? 
and drove my brother to such madness. Firestone. Can I actually see the door? No. I think I see some sparklies. I wasn't expecting a sparkly right there, but I had to check. I'm, I'm kind of getting overwhelmed at the second. I need to need to start all over. All right, what you got? House Wolfort, Defenders of the Crown. Uh, you've come in our hour of need. I thank you for your loyalty. Tis my duty as lord of a high house. Come, brother, let us defend our kingdom. Stay strong, good man. Rest in peace. You have more than earned it. Do any of the king's guard yet remain? If they've all been slain, I fear all is lost. The emergency gates have... Uh, barred the way forward. We must secure this area and press onward by force. That they've made it this far into the castle bodes ill. We must hurry. Uh, they're like as not to be in the throne room. Invasions seek to remove the head of state. Move quickly. The king needs us. The mining venture brought peace to the realm, and my betrothal to Federica ties our nations together. Why would Esfrost commit such senseless violence? The enemy is already deep within the castle. They've made it look so simple. We must hasten uh, to my father's side. any promises I can't keep, but we know not what the enemy wants. Let us remain adaptable to whatever awaits us. Speak truth, we barely know what drove them to this madness. Lord Dragon lay slain at the mines for reasons unknown, yet we may play into the enemy's hands were this chaos to sway us. Thank you, dear friend. You restored some calm to my adult mind. So I won't be able to go up there, so I think I've explored everything. There's no uh, ladders or anything like that, or stairs that go up there. I think this exploration phase is over. Learn nothing more here. We must keep moving. Level seven. Apparently, I have a character story too. Oh no! Their unknown company encounter a girl in a desolate, rocky area who tells them she was once part of a circus troupe. We're in a desolate, rocky area right now, huh? <laughs> you don't say. Tell me more. Hey, what's a child like you doing in such a lonely place? I have nowhere else to go. Where are your parents? They died years ago. My lord. My name is Sarah Noah. What's yours? Picoletta. Picoletta? You throw that ball with such skill. Because it's my job. When I throw this ball, everyone applauds. 
Well, they used to. But the circus is gone now, so I'm all on my own. What are you doing here, mister? We are trying to put an end to this war. I hate war. War made everyone go away. You're really gonna end the war? Then let me go with you. Uh... I can throw my ball and help you fight the bad people. Oops. There goes my tummy grumbling again. My lord, we cannot simply leave this poor child here. Here we can. I know. All right then, Piccoletta. Come with us. But before we go fight the bad people, let us fill our bellies. After that, perhaps you could show us some tricks with your ball. Sure thing. That's what I'm best at. Okay. I think they kind of goofed with the sequence of events here, but, you know, sure. An, expert's, an expert in offensive items increases the range of offensive items, can summon a decoy of herself. Uh, I don't know if I'll be using her. Offensive items are a little expensive. I ain't got a bunch of money to be spending on offensive items. Increases targetable range by two, using an item on an enemy. I'm gonna clone on a selected square. Clones previously summoned with this ability will disappear. I'm guessing this also means that clones don't actually do anything. They just kind of sit there. Now, if this clone somehow mimicked her actions or something like that, then we'd be going places. Uh, but this definitely does not seem like a character I will be using. Uh, I think I'll be using Frederica for the rest of the game. Unless she like dies or something. Let's hope she doesn't die. Let's see. Let's go ahead and give her the ice amulet so that he doesn't take more damage from ice. Let's give you the Vanguard Staff. You going first is a good thing. What are you calling me? No. I still don't know if I'm getting rid of him or not, but... Stuff and stuff. Alright, let's do battle. Soldiers! We've been seen. It's Prince Roland. The Archduke himself ordered us to kill all with royal blood. You ain't getting out of here alive. The Archduke ordered what? My brother would order no such thing. Glenbrook and Esfrost were to be allies. Why does the Archduke betray us? That's rich. Coming from a bunch of traitor bastards. Glenbrook broke the treaty first. We've every right to seek retribution. What? We didn't know such thing. That's right. I've heard enough of your lies. Brace yourselves for battle, my friends. Hey, Epic Otter. 